Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's explore a couple things I missed at the Dragon Temple rooftop. For one, I don't think I ever just fell down here. God, that special's amazing. Okay, can't use that door. We also have this area down here. Ooh, where does that go? <clears throat> oh, is that a chest? Dragon Tower Shield. 30 strength. Tower shield engraved with a dragon, symbol of protection. Heavy even among great shields. It possesses exceptional guarding ability. Yeah, 17.5. Much heavier than... Well, heavier than... A good amount of these. But some of these are even heavier. I mean, the one made of stone is, of course. I bet you don't open. Nope. Lift it is then.
Strong foe ahead. Oh shit, that's a Crucible Knight. Oh right, this isn't going to give me unlimited FP, but oh well. Oh, that's garbage. Wow, that did not do much. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, wow. That was close. Oh, they just jumped off and died. Thank you. Oh, with how long it is to run back here, the Crucible Knight is particularly terrifying. They are so freaking tough. you get this item. Oh, nice. Better lightning protection. Okay. Uh, with all that explored, I think that means the only thing left is the beside the Great Bridge, so... Time to go to the Great Bridge. First off, night. All the more could this be a holy? Oh. Well, I defeated a knight last time with a laser beam. Maybe I can manage to do it again? It's so worth it when it does work. Oh yes, yeah, start to patrol so I can get behind you. Okay, that seems to be as far as they go, so I don't think we're going to get the element of surprise here. Although, I have a new idea.
Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> was that 13,000? 13,000 damage? That might be a new record! Whew! Oh, I love it when I can pull that off. It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> Malformed Dragon Helm. Armor, Gauntlets, and Greaves. Okay, those look really, really cool. Oh, that was amazing. That was amazing! Ah! Malformed gold- oh, I didn't see the top part. Malformed golden helm, adorned with various dragon imagery and worn by the misshapen tree sentinels. After the great ancient dragon Grand Sax attacked, the sentinels had an epiphany. The only way to truly protect the Erd tree was to become dragons themselves. Yeah, that is extremely heavy armor. Not the heaviest, but... Up there with the crucible stuff. It's really cool looking. What about the leggings? How do those compare to the twin greaves? Heavier, and aside from vitality, it's better at everything. Okay, but does it look cool? I mean, with just the legs, or the feet rather, poking out, eh, not really. I mean, it looks good, but not, not nearly as cool as the twin greaves. Likely bug. Yeah, that's quite weird. Where's that going to now? Wait, isn't that... Have we not been there? I guess we haven't. No, but we have been down there. Definitely feels like there should be an enemy. And it said enemy ahead. Ah. You? I was able to summon you before for something. Their weapon looks really interesting. What is that? Is that like a snake coiled around something? Oh. Am I out of... Oh no, I'm just out of... Out of the, uh, special drink physic. What do I want to use against you? Perhaps... Oh. 
How do you like being stun locked? Oh, they're not locked anymore. Run! Fuck. Oh, when they do that special, they take my life and take it for themselves. I think it healed them. Oh, you bastard. healing Ooh, they gave me a lot blasphemous claw wait is that a I forget what that image means for what category it goes inside of okay that's the thing devour a scepter I think that is a snake Beast Champion Helm, Armor Altered, Gauntlets, Greaves. Okay, we got a lot there. Deflect the power of the Black Blade. Reusable. Okay, so it's like Moe's Shackle kind of thing. I guess. A slab of rock engraved with traces of the Rune of Death can deflect the power of the Black Blade. On the night of the dire plot, Ronnie rewarded Praetor Rikard with these traces. Should the coming trespass one day transpire, they would serve as a last resort foil, allowing Rikard to challenge Malakath, Malakath the Black Blade, the Black Beast of Destined Death. Okay, we have not encountered Malakath yet, I don't think. Damn, that was... Violent and sudden. Okay, we also got a weapon. Devourer's Scepter. It's a great hammer. Devourer of Worlds is the special. Oh, that must be the, like, suck you in and then heal thing. Uh, it takes faith. Scepter in the shape of a serpent devouring the world. This weapon will one day become the very symbol of the Lord of Blasphemy. One of the legendary armaments. A vision of the future briefly seen by Rikard in his final moments before being devoured by the Great Serpent. Devourer of Worlds. Charge the scepter with magic and strike it against the ground to steal the HP of all nearby enemies. Yeah, I knew that's what it was doing. I haven't found a legendary armament yet that actually... Scales on int. I don't think I have, but I have a million weapons, so it's hard to keep them all straight. Well, there is the Spear of Grand Sax thing. That was a legendary armament. I think that was just dex, though. And really high dex at that. Okay, uh, armor. Silver helm engraved with tiny beasts. The beasts, their eyes and ears covered, represent an oath. See nothing, hear nothing, doubt nothing, and carry on along the path set in stone. Would I want to wear the greaves? They are extremely heavy. Wait, what is that description? Um, beasts are drawn to champions. And to lords, as this armor befits a champion worthy of becoming a lord. And that is what Bernal was. Until his maiden threw herself into the fire. Huh? Do the other armor pieces have different bits of that story? No, that is the same description. 
Yeah, same with that one. But, how does it look? Very, very big. Not nearly as cool as the Twinned Greaves. Well, there's a lot in there. Oh good, they're not all as strong as that one. Old Lord's Talisman. Extends spell effect duration. A legendary talisman depicting the ancient king whose seat lies at the heart of the storm beyond time. Extends the duration of sorceries and incantations. It is said that the ancient royal city of Farum Azula has been slowly crumbling since time imm immemorial. Just used a bunch of runes so that I can level up and get so wait we're very 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 slightly short do i really want to use a hero's rune yeah why not it's only thirty-five thousand. is it nothing uh, i want to get one dex that way i can use the sword without um the dragon king's crag blade without having the raising dexterity talisman on me I was looking at the things I have, wondering whether that talisman is worth it, the one that extends spell duration. I looked it up, it extends it by 30%. Now, as far as the things I use, which ones actually have a duration? That one doesn't, that one doesn't, this one does. That sucks in spells into it. That one doesn't, mm, that one doesn't, this one does. This one does. Although this is, like, <laughs> that was just for this one situation. And I don't really commonly use the, the ones that actually do have a duration, so, eh. I, I don't think it really applies to me all that well. And it does not apply to Ashes of War, by the way, so it wouldn't apply to, yeah, a anything like that. Let's see what's in here. Okay, there's no way I'm going to be able to common Azure them. They are so fast. Three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred. Oh wow, I did a thousand damage.
my blade once more. They're a dog. They were a dog this whole time. <laughs> that breath reminded me of the uh, boss from Bloodborne. Burns. Whew. Okay, you're the one I need to use the thingy on. You're Malekith. Ah, oh, they're cool. Okay, I definitely don't need a laser beam. So we can switch that out with... Hmm. Maybe just straight up boosting all damage negation. It's always good. And I think it lasts for a while. Okay, I'm not really sure what to do with the Blasphemous Claw. The effect of it, to me, looks like it's a parry, basically. So <laughs> I'm not exactly sure when to use it. That should make them more susceptible to damage. This isn't going to work until they transform, I don't think. Taking a little break from fighting the boss, um, what you're seeing before was actually the day prior, decided to take a break. And in the meantime, my husband was looking around trying to see if I had missed something, and they found a couple things. First thing, an NPC here, which I either missed or maybe they weren't here when I was originally here. Um, this is quite near the beginning, or like right after the Grand Lift have rolled for the Mountain of the Giants. And there's an NPC here. Chosen, tarnished, and would be lord, descend into the depths far below the Erd Tree capital. Seek audience with the three fingers and the flame of frenzy. Wait, haven't we done that? Maybe oh, I remember being down there and thinking, hey, like this this place seems like there's more to it. It seems very odd. There was a weird almost door looking thing, but it wasn't open and I couldn't do anything. Maybe that's open now. Burn the earth tree to the ground. And incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, oh, may chaos take the world. May chaos take the world. Let's go take a look and just see if things have changed there. Yeah, the subterranean shunning grounds. Yeah, it was this door looking thing that seemed significant. But I couldn't do anything with it, and I still can't. What do these messages say? Think carefully. No armor ahead, but be wary of ruin. Oh my god! Yeah, you have to take off all your armor and then it lets you in.
Are we gonna have to fight some fingers? So what has that done? I guess we've been touched by the fingers now. Oh, and our eyes. I guess we have the flame of frenzy in us. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we're just like this now. And the person we talked with left something behind. Iron Kassa, Ronin's armor, gauntlets, and greaves. Iron Kassa of the man who calls himself Shabriri, crafted to imitate the woven straw hats worn in the land of reeds. The man, once known as Yora, kept a woman in the deepest reaches of his heart. Well, I'm not sure what this changes, other than how I look, but... Let's go back to trying the boss.
The rune of death is unbound. And the lands between are shrouded by death's dark fate. But the flames will also burn the impenetrable thorns. Farewell it is then. You'll be Elden Lord yet. Ooh, that's a lot that just happened there. <laughs> I was worried for a second that was the very end of the game. Uh, yeah, so I'd say combined that boss probably took me two hours of attempts. First off, well done. Thank you. Where exactly are we? I was thinking it looked like we were outside of the capital, but no, we're in it. It's just, this is what's become of the capital now. So it's completely covered in sand. It's been drowned under a sea of sand. Whew. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode there. So hope you've enjoyed so far and I'll be back soon.